Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let's begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Newman, the first bishop of the United States. So he got canonized in 1977, and um, he's well known for his holiness and his learning. He, the authors of two German catechism. And the intention for this Mass, we pray for the repose of the soap, Rudy Gonzalez, Ray Gonzalez, Francis Gonzalez, Lorenza Lopez, Anton, Antonetti, and Russell Reese, Alondra, and Mary Carmen Govea, the deceased members of the Malandor family, the intentions of the Pope, clergy, and religious of the church. So now let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who called the Bishop St. John Newman, renowned for his charity and pastoral service to shepherd your people in America, grant by his intercession that as we foster the Christian's education for youth and are strengthened by the witness of bodily love, we may constantly increase the family of your church to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O oh God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days. 
and profound peace till the moon is no more. May he roll from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them. For they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. By now it was already late, and his disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already very late. Dismiss them so that they can go to the surrounding farms and villages to buy themselves something to eat. He said to them in reply, Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Are we to buy 200 days' wages worth of food and give it to them to eat? He asked them, How many loaves do you have? Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, Five loaves and two fish. So he gave others to have them sit down in groups on the green grass. And people took their places in rows by hundreds and by fifties. Then, taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up twelve wicker baskets full of fragments and what was left of the fish. Those who ate of the loaves were five thousand men. The Gospel of the Lord. So food is, is significant in our life. So every day we have to eat something. And either we gather for the good event or the bad event, or some, um, we, as we gather, we have to kind of have something to sit down and through eating, we can share our story. We can feel connections. And yet the gospel today that we can highlight for three important points. First of all, that is the board of the people and then the solidarity and the faith. So that's three important points that we can learn from the gospel today. That charitable, when they share with the group what they have, five loaves and two fish. Solidarity, so they put everything in common and faith, that the disciples and the people have faith in the word of God so that they listen to his word and just do as he ordered them. And yet, these three have the same uh, foundations as they all trust in the providence of God. And yet, Jesus' words, as he teach the people, his word touched the heart of the people. And yet, it transformed them and allowed the miracle to happen. So we see that we're still in Christmas seasons until the baptism of the day uh, of the Lord, which is this coming Sunday. So we also remember that Bethlehem is the place. This means that the house of bread. Bethlehem is the house of bread. So Jesus was born in Bethlehem. That means that the house of bread. So the bread for the world. So his body become the eternal food for the whole world, for the, 
the eternal life of us. And the first reading, especially that we heard that because of God's love, that Jesus was sent into the world to satisfy our hunger, our hunger for holiness and our hunger for us, uh, salvation. So yet, Jesus gave us his body, food for the journey, the eternal food. And today he satisfied the group, the crowd. That should manifest that he satisfied us for our eternal life. May each of us learn from today's gospel, be charitable in solidarity and have faith in God. Amen. Please stand. And the response for us is that by your birth, deliver us from evil. By your birth, deliver us from evil. Let us rejoice in the compassion of Christ who came to free mankind from the slavery of corruption and to give us the freedom of the sons of God. Trusting in this divine compassion, we bleed. By your birth, deliver us from evil. Lord, you existed before the ages, yet you enter into the new life. Renew us continually through the mysteries of your birth. By your birth, deliver us from evil. Without, sur without surrendering your divinity, you wondrously took on our humanity. Grant that our life may press on to the fuller participations in your divinity. You came to be a light to the nations, the teacher of the holiness. Let your words be a light along our way. By your birth, deliver us from evil. Word of God made flesh in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. You enter this world, live in our hearts always through faith. By your birth, deliver us from evil. And we pray for all the souls that we offer Mass today. By your birth, deliver us from evil. Father, your Son became like us when he revealed himself in our nature. Help us to become more like him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, put it the earth and work it in hands, it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Put up the vine and work it in hands, it become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Christ has joined hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Merciful Father, look upon the gifts we have placed on your altar and grant that we may reflect the image of Christ your Son, just as you grant us to St. John Newman to imitate what he celebrated through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mysteries of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, and in earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending out your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. <laughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring hell to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Marion Cara, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Rudy Gonzalez, Ray Gonzalez, Francis Gonzalez, Lorenza Lopez, Antoinette and Russell Reese, Alondra and Mary Carmen Govia, the deceased members of the Malador family. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, so we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit we go ask eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And this is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. 
gracefully grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from the threats as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Refreshed by the, our participation in the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, we ask, O oh Lord, that by the example of St. John Newman, we may experience the power of this sacrament and remain constantly in the Church by the bond of unity and truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, Defense us in battle. Be our defense against the wicked that snare of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, so Prince of the Holy Host, by the power of God, torch to hell Satan and all the evil spirit who prowl about the world, sick and drawn up souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Bernard, pray for us. St. John Newman, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day to all of you. God bless you all.